Hey Changemakers, how's it going? In our last DABC of video, we covered the basis of the main keywords and concept of social innovation. If you haven't watched that yet, please go and do that so we can continue on the ABC of social entrepreneurship. Today we're gonna learn what you need to do, where to go and what to look for to start your social business idea on the right foot. And before we do that, I'm here to remind you to subscribe to our channel for more content on social entrepreneurship. Why, you ask me? Because we, Changemakers On, are here for your social business to grow bigger and stronger. And who doesn't want that? Let's go! Now let's start from the very beginning. What is social entrepreneurship? There are probably as many definitions as there are entrepreneurs, but the bottom line on this one is social enterprise is an organization that uses business strategies to improve environmental or and social conditions on systematic level. As easy as it sounds, right? Contrary to an old belief that is also some kind of stereotype still in the air today, having a social enterprise does not mean you cannot aim for financial gain. Actually, social businesses take the best of both business and nonprofit worlds and make the best thing to meet their goals. Although social impact is always the main goal there, these two can really help each other in the process. Now, another term you probably heard of is startup. A startup is an early-stage organization created to find the perfect business model for the solution to come to life. Now, if you have a startup, keep it in mind, most startups start very small and are willing to take the biggest risks. It is also one of the most exciting stages of your progress, so strap on your seatbelt and let's go! Now, let's talk about some terms that if you ever see these terms on the internet or somewhere else and you have a social business or a dream to make one, this is exactly the terms that you should click on. Incubator. Those who create incubators do the angel's work, in my opinion, because incubators support startup businesses. The social business incubator provides office services, consults on business management and marketing issues, organizes trainings and seminars, mediates in receiving financial support, and helps to implement the latest and most advanced technologies in production. Now, the next thing you should really be interested in is hackathon. There are all kinds of hackathons all over the world, but to put it short, a hackathon is a fast-paced event where the year is filled with social innovations and a high chance of you taking your ideas off the paper into practice. I can tell you from my very own experience, made with passion, love, and goodwill of experienced partners and mentors from all over the world, Changemakers on hackathons are not only extremely educational and motivating, but also incredibly fun. But hey, if you're looking for something bigger than a free day or a week-long event for your social business training, try looking for Accelerator. Generally speaking, Accelerator is a fixed-term program that usually lasts from 5 to 12 months. As an example, Changemaker's Son Accelerator offers everything from help with creating a business model, attractive pitch, and entering the market, to personal and professional skills training, idea development, or networking tips. If you are a tad little bit interested, feel free to check it all out at changemakerson.com. Now, there is one more similar type of event that you probably already know about. A social business sprint. Changemaker Zon recently had a few of those, so to keep it fun, I invite you to watch or rewatch our social business sprint Turn the Impact On review with a really fluffy dough included. Nothing makes it as clear as a live review of this term in practice. Now, all of these things, events and so on, that let your social business grow have one huge thing in common. Every time you participate somewhere and want your social business idea to be memorable and noticeable, you have to have a perfect pitch. Ooh, I've seen so many good teams with great ideas just losing it and dropping it in the middle of pitch presentation. Some people probably think that presenting your social business idea is not so difficult and they just don't prepare enough for that. Others probably simply don't know how to do a good pitch. I'm gonna do a series about that, thank you. And the third part of people, I don't know, maybe they have a stage fright or something. I don't know, just, I don't know what happens. Anyhow, your pitch is extremely, extremely, I cannot stress this enough how extremely important your pitch is for your social business idea progress. Sometimes it's also called an elevator pitch because, well, it actually fits the description. Imagine getting in an elevator with somebody who doesn't know you and you don't know them, and you have to pitch them your social business idea, but only during the time you are in the elevator, which is about a minute. 
So during that short minute, you have to put all your necessary information on the table for the person to be interested in your social business and most probably invest in it. This is a smart job to create a perfect pitch, but who does that usually goes a long way. And now is a great time to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you can be notified when that video on how to create that mysterious perfect pitch comes up. Why you ask me again? Because a good pitch is something your future investors will want to hear before even understanding what you're talking about. And this is our ABC of social entrepreneurship, how to start, where to start, what to look for so you can start on the right foot. Did I tell you something you didn't know before? Are you going to look for some events after this video? What is your social business ideal? Let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe because in the next The ABC of series we're gonna talk about finances and investors. How to get them?